Welcome to understanding networks, especially the language. So vertices, vertices focuses on the points. So when I'm thinking about points, I'm thinking about the land. So I've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. So those are all of my vertices. So that means I've got eight vertices in total. The next part is my edges. Now my edges are the bridges or pathways between each of the points. So that shows me that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So I've got 14 edges, 14 bridges. Now loops is a pathway that starts at the vertice and goes back around to the same vertice without going to, to another vertice. So I've got one, two loops. Now it comes to degrees. So degrees is thinking about how many different pathways do I have from a particular point. So because it says pathways of C, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Because I could take either pathway on, um, on this loop and, it was, and it's a I'm going a different way. So it's still 5 pathways, which is 5 degrees. Likewise with my degrees of F, I've got one, two, three. So I've got three degrees. Now when we're thinking about the next part, we need to be counting the pathways and then looking at the how many degrees each of them have. So we already said that C has five degrees. We've already said that F has three. G again, we can see it's got one, two, three pathways. So again, it's got three degrees. H has got three degrees and E has got three degrees. Likewise with B, we've got one, two, three pathways. So we've got three degrees. And we've got three degrees for A. The only other one we haven't done is D. And again, D has got one, two, three, four, five. Five degrees. So, so far, if I look at this, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. The graph has eight odd vertices and zero even vertices. Now this question goes a bit deeper into really understanding everything. So it says, what is the sum of the degrees of the vertices of a graph with five edges? So if I've got five edges, that means I've got five bridges. So I'm gonna have one, I'm going to put uh, my vertices there. So for and this X, I'm going to have two vertices. I'm then going to make another one, three. Four. One, two, three, four, and five. So here I've got five edges now. So if I look at this, it says, what is the sum of the degrees of the vertices of a graph with five edges? So let's look at the degrees now. So this vertice has two degrees. This vertice has one, two, three, four degrees. 
and this vertice has one, two, three, four degrees. So that means if I add it together, I've got four plus four is eight, eight plus two is 10. So I've got 10 degrees. So, so far it looks like that for if I've got five extras, if I double the amount of extras, I'll get the amount of vertices. Let's see if that is correct with the following. It says I've got three extras. So I'm going to put some vertices. Okay, so I've got one X, two extras, and three extras. Each of my vertices has two degrees. If I add them up, it gives me six degrees. So straight away again, I can see that I've got double the amount of degrees as I do of edges. Likewise, if I've got one edge, that means I must have a loop. Because a loop ha um, has two, gives two degrees to that vertice. So that means I've got two degrees here and I can double check. But the rule that we've already come up with, which is I double the amount of edges to give me the degrees. Double two, sorry, double one equals two. 